All right, so for today's video, <clears throat> I wanted to explain how I went about crafting a lot of my gear. Um, some of it, of course, I crafted before understanding the recombinators, so I used um, stuff like essences and other things. Um, but after learning how the recombinator works, um, I've swapped over to just using that. So I basically crafted this gear in a manner of um, like two hours, roughly. Um, yeah, that's how basically how long it took me to craft um, all these components. So um, you might look at this and think this looks pretty decent for a two hour craft. And I would say it is, it was fairly cheap and easy to make. Um, of course, it's not perfect by any means. It's just a placeholder for now until the point where I go for the fit, like the final craft. Um, for now, this is just my leveling gear, you could say. But yeah, so I crafted all these items in no time, and I wanted to kind of show it off how it works. So we are gonna start out by using this necrotic armor. Um, by that, I mean I'm gonna. I just bought this and it's eye level 85 and what I'm going to start out by doing is we're going to start by scouring it, making it grey and then we'll transmutation orbit to make it blue. From this point we're going to keep swapping our two, actually that was kind of nice, you could say a T2 dex and a T1 um, energy evasion. So that would be a kind of a nice set of stats you could say um, and what you want to do is you want to create a bunch of bases that has two desirable stats on them so we have for instance here we have raw evasion and energy shield um, with cold res, and we have um, raw energy shield with fire res. we have um, percent energy and evasion with intelligence and we have this one that we already kind of uh, recombinated but what we're going to do now is we're going to put these armors together and hopefully get something at the end that's worth keeping, right? So uh, this has percent and this has raw. So we want to put these two together, right? Since the stats are different and we're hoping to get a base with all four stats basically, right? So at least that turned yellow. Let's go with these two again. We have percent and raw, and we have intelligence and resistance. Boom. Now, as you see, we have two armors with three stats on them. Two prefixes, one suffix. Two suffixes and one prefix. Now, if we put these together, all like two of them, hopefully we get all the prefixes and all the suffixes. That would be perfect, right? So let's try that. Sadly, that one did not turn into something that we want to keep. It's still okay, but it's not what we wanted. So, and now I ran out of gold, so I'll be back in two seconds with some more gold. All right, so now that we hit two bases that we kind of want, not saying that this is exactly what we wanted, but I'm just gonna use this as an example since I finally got to a point where I basically have um, one prefix and two suffixes and two prefixes and one suffix. So now that we have these two bases, what I want to do is we want to go here to craft three modifiers. Yes, sir. So we're just going to craft chosen modifiers, which would be in this case. Oh, good. Okay, so now we're back at the recombinator. We have our desired um, prefix and two suffixes, and we have our desired prefixes and one suffix in this armor. Now we're gonna basically combinate these two together, and preferably get a outcome that we are looking for. Not quite, but close enough. So 
it basically transferred one less mod that we wanted to. So technically what I could do at this point is make another armor that has either three or four um, suffixes and prefixes and then recombinate that together with this one. So if we can make one that has um, T1 evasion and energy shield, T1 evasion percent energy shield, um, and um, T1 energy shield and ev um, evasion rating, One pure energy shield, one pure, uh, one evasion energy shield, and one evasion energy shield raw. If we could get an armor with those three stats on, and then preferably like either one suffix or no suffixes, and then we do the same idea again. We craft chosen mods on here, and then recombinate them into something useful. Basically, we need to get a better helmet. But it's fairly simple, honestly. This has been the easiest craft that I've ever done in my life. It's super, super, super simple. Get the stats you want. Make sure it's all T1s, preferably. If you will settle for a T2, then you settle for a T2. If not, then you keep going till you get the T1s you want. And it's a very simple way to do it. Um, It just takes time. That's basically the biggest investment you have to do here is time. Um, time and a bunch of fucking alterations. Um, there's multiple ways of farming out alterations. If you saw the gauntlet, you would know that um, one good way of doing it would be using the um, expeditions, which I do have a video on. Um, it's been one of my favorite ways to make currency this league. Um, I have made so much currency from uh, expeditions alone. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so super, super, super simple way to make it. Super simple. Uh, let's see if we can't hit something just semi-decent here before give a good idea as you can see you have to run through alterations quite a bit in order to get to a point where you're satisfied with the stats that you did you're looking for right so don't be afraid to use a couple of thousand of these in order to get the exact things you want but say we are we're happy with this right like I wanted t1 intelligence of course but we'll just say we're happy with this and then we hope for a decent setup so that would technically like be good right like if it was all t1s and um, that's why i settled here it's I, I had to settle for t2s because of getting most of the stuff on there that i wanted and then some of them being T2s, I was like, fuck it, I'll just settle for this for right now. And then later, we can always upgrade to something better. But 475 ES under the helmet is really not too bad, honestly. It's it's pretty decent. Um, and I can just keep working on making a new helmet um, in the same exact way that I was making the first one. And this goes for anything that you want to make, if it's a weapon, if it's uh, rings, or if it's something else. Now, there's, of course, many other ways to make this. Um, this, of course, works with weapons as well. And it's not how I made my weapons, um, but it is a very easy way to come about something like this. Um, but the way I chose to make my weapons is I chose to use a um, essence of misery, deafening essence of misery, and these gives you thirty or uh, twenty nine to thirty two cast speed on a one handed weapon. So, as you see, it has thirty two cast speed, um, as well as this. Um, the way I did this one is I kept rolling 
a profane wand until I had T1 mana and then T1 cast speed. And whenever I hit the T1 cast speed and the T1 mana, I annulled it down to four stats and then I chose to use a fracturing orb and then I tried to hit the cast speed or uh, the mana. Now mana is by far the one you want to hit because it makes the next part of the craft way, way, way easier in my opinion. So I then chose to fracture it and I hit the mana as you see on this one. After hitting the mana, I then went to use a, where is it? Um, need the one that gives you spell damage. This one. So the woe, the deafening essence of woe. After hitting the fracture, I, as you can see, it says essence on the 92 spell damage. It's because I used the essence to craft it. So I then went to craft the spell damage and I kept crafting until I hit tier two spell damage and mana. And once I had those three prefixes locked in, then it was a simple um, prefixes cannot be changed on your bench in your hideout. We go to our hideout. Then we went for the prefixes cannot be changed, which is too divine and it's right here. So we hit this one and then we scout, we, I believe we scoured it. No, 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 that's right, that's right. I didn't actually even scour it, but it would probably be a good idea to scour it at this point, just to clean out the suffixes if they're terrible. Um, if I remember correctly, I did this on stream. I crafted these weapons on stream, uh, at least this one I crafted on stream. So there is a full video of me doing it um, out there, but I still wanted to explain it just a little bit. Now, I was really lucky on this one, um, and I, ca I actually hit the T1 cast speed alongside with the other stuff on my prefixes, so it wasn't super hard to hit the rest of it. it, 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 it there was two open um, suffixes, if I remember correctly, so all I had to do was um, veil orbit, and then after that, um, unveil or uh, block something and then unveil it, and then put the double damage on there and it was that was pretty much how I did it but in case I hadn't hit the faster cast speed right away what I would have done is I would again have blocked the prefixes so prefixes cannot be changed um, and once I had that on this weapon I would go over here I'll put it in here and I'll reforge speed right here now there's sockets uh, gems in here so you can't I can't actually press it but I would press this and I would craft it. Um, oh, the speed one, sorry. I would uh, reforge speed and basically that um, has two outcomes. It can either go attack speed or it can go cast speed. Now, there is of course a way to guarantee that you get cast speed, but it's a little bit more tricky. So the way that works is what you wanna do is you wanna come over here with a weapon that has your three prefixes. You want to hit the um, three crafted mods, which is down here. So, can have up to cr three crafted mods. That's what you want to basically do. Then you want to have prefixes cannot be changed, and you want to have cannot roll attack modifiers. If you have these two together, and then you can annul the have up to three crafted modifiers if you can annul that part off and it just has the two crafted mods that says prefixes cannot be changed and cannot roll attack then once you go to reforge speed over here it's basically the guaranteed outcome will be a cast speed mod it's just not guaranteed that it'll be t1 so you might have to redo that last step a couple of times to hit the t1 and then on top of that, you kind of want to have it, um, 
after you hit the T1, you kind of want to remove um, the... Uh, uh, if it keeps the craft, so if you still have the prefixes cannot be changed and the cannot roll caster modifiers, then you can veil orbit. Um, if you don't, you want to come back over here and you want to do redo the um, three crafted mods and prefixes cannot be changed and only have those two crafted mods with your cast speed, then veil orbit and hope to God that it doesn't eat your cast speed. Uh, it's a basically a one in three that it'll eat the cast speed, but if it doesn't, like it didn't here, then you un uh, you block the thing that you really don't want, which in my case, I blocked penetration. So I went over here and I did remove crafted mods, which is down here. Um, remove remove crafted mods so i pressed this one and then i went to do the penetration boom we go down here then we have did i not do penetration no that's right i blocked the um I block strength and uh, dex, that's right. I block strength and dex and accuracy with this one, if I remember correctly. And then I unveiled it. And sadly, I didn't get the uh, double damage on my unveil, which is basically what I was aiming for. If I had had that, I wouldn't have had to settle for the damage per power charge, but it is what it is. It's a settle, and you might get to a point where you have to settle too. Um, it all comes down to how much currency are you really willing to put into it. So approximately, I want to say I spent a little bit above 80 div crafting the weapons. Somewhere in the, probably if I were to be guessing, I would say maybe it's like 92 div but it's like 500 div worth of weapons so it was worth it in the end <clears throat> i would have gone the um, recombinator way if i had known how easy that was to begin with now this is one that has been do done with the recombinator instead of like essences so this ha has better um, stats in my opinion right like it has it's just the, the stats are way better um, it, it was way easier to get all the T1 stats together when you're recombinating in comparison to when you're using essences and uh, fracturing and all this stuff because it does take quite a bit of currency to get to a, like to get to that point but it's very doable and it's not super hard um, last week I had literally no idea how to craft anything basically the necropolis um, crafting method was really convoluted and hard to understand so it took me a very long time to understand and it took me a while to get something worth um, using actually but this time around I feel like I was a lot faster at crafting my gear and I had a lot better gear a lot earlier on because of me understanding the power in essences and um, how to basically block certain things and how to force certain things and stuff like that um, so it's worth looking into I'm not gonna make like a full broke breakdown tutorial on everything because there's so many of them out there already um, but I, w I did want to touch on how I did it um, just in case somebody is out there and they're wondering how the hell did you get to make something that crazy um, and it's basically the same story for most of my gear. So it's basically recombinated gear for for the most part. Some of it is not, <clears throat> but like my rings all recombinated, um, boots are recombinated, armor recombinated. The gloves are not, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the gloves are not recombinated. But the rest of the gear is, except for this weapon. So, 
I would highly suggest that you guys get used to using a lot of alterations and just slamming those T1 mods on there, putting them together, hoping for the best outcome. It's basically a one in three pull every time you you put your stuff in there. Um, so hopefully you'll get something out of it that you're looking for. It can be a little bit hard at times to hit the exact stuff that you want. I've had to kind of go over some nice mods a couple of times in order to get to the point where I'm happy with what I crafted. But I think that's a very common th theme this, this league with the recombinators. But they are super, 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 super powerful. And by far the easiest way to, to get to a point where you have all T1s on, basically. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped out some of you guys with the crafting. And as I said, you can craft any weapon you want or anything that you're looking for. All you want is having those bases, um, the best bases that you can have. <coughs> um, so depending on which, which build you're playing, whichever type of base you're looking for is the type of bases that you want to keep um, alting until you hit the, the mods that you want and then recombinating all those bases. So the easiest way to go about it or the way that I did it was I bought like let's say I bought 10 or 15 um, bases for the helmet or the gloves or the boots and I just made all of them blue <clears throat> I put mods on all of them that I wanted and then I went to the recombinator and I just kept recombinating until I hit the, the stuff that I really wanted to save and then I had like five bases left that all had the desirable stats and I recombinated all those together and then at the end I had um, the basics that I wanted um, in the, in terms of stats. It wasn't all T1s but most of them were so I was really happy um, with how it turned out, right? Uh, hopefully, <coughs> hopefully I'll see you guys in the next stream. Um, I'm still waiting a little bit for my new internet to be set up. Uh, so currently rocking some yeah what you call that like shitty internet for a second until the new one arrives uh, it should be like a couple of days so i should be back streaming at the end of this week hopefully um but yeah i'll catch you all in the next one have a great day and that's it that's it for me